cold-blooded murder of Mike Brown. I, a well-framed riot, chose not to protest. Instead, like any good choir conductor, I shut down everything and demanded a better harmony. The protests were in a part of Oakland I walked to near every day. But on that night, I closed my windows. Could not deal with yet another choir lifting the rafters about more black death. Didn't want to be sad or angry. Didn't want white supremacy to tell me how to feel. Yet once again, that night, I shut off everything and fell asleep smiling, listening to too much Nina Simone. That night, I cut off all my lights because black was the only God worth praying to. Ask, ask if Jesus bleed a black woman. Said the only black people I know who could turn that small amount of food into peace are big mamas. We laughed, we joked, talked about bones and spades, about how the old black men we know who smoke menthols know how to fix carburetors too. Marvel, marvel at how creative black kids are. Said they must be. This world ain't never been safe, so we built new ones out of scrap paper, bones, and possibility. That night I danced on beat, which is to say I chose to be happy and black, and how political that choice was. How political that choice always is. The first time I ever saw a man shot to death, his arms were flailing wildly as if he was dancing for a God he knew he was about to see what an unholy prayer his body was. Arms were all in the wrong direction, but this poem cannot be about black death. It is about how we listen to Tupac, try to imagine heaven's ghetto, corner stores draped in gold, little girls playing double dutch, and him still smiling the following morning. I call my mother because black is still the only God I know worth praying to. I wanted her to know that her baby boy was still black and still alive, and how political our phone calls are. How political they always will be, but this poem cannot be about politics, cannot be about so-called black on black crime, cannot be about police murders. This poem is simply about black joy, about fish fry and cookouts, where all the little kids know the dances before they even come out. It is about, it is about how on most days, the most revolutionary thing I can do is enjoy my niece's laughter, their brown faces bubbling like good fried bologna sandwiches. And ain't that the blackest shit ever, y'all? This poem, this poem, this poem, this poem is about how, how my brother came home from a tour and I rapped. The first thing we did was make fun of each other, then hug, then say I love you. It is about how when Tamir Rice was gunned down, black people band together to lift his mother out of the homeless shelter she had been living in. This poem is about how when my aunt laid there in her deathbed, waiting for the cancer to finally make a liar out of her body, she sat there and cracked jokes and made us smile. You cannot kill blackness. Too much of it. Too much of it. Too much of it is wrapped in an unshakable joy. And ain't that why they think we magic in the first place? That despite every reason not to, we still smile. We still laugh. We still love. We still black. We still. <laughs>